My name is Tam Chung Falls, and today I'll be presenting on a case of emphysematous cystitis. Patient is a 57-year-old T2P2 female with a history of chronic kidney disease stage 3 due to oncanegative polyimmune glomerulonephritis on prolonged steroids, ulcerative colitis on chronic mesalamine therapy, chronic back pain with neurostimulator, presented with abdominal pain, nausea, and diarrhea for one week. Patient was also complaining of dysuria and difficulty waiting for the past 24 hours prior to admission. She denied any hematuria or hematochesia. Of note, she denies any history of chronic urinary tract infections or diabetes. This is an axon non-contrast CT image through the abdomen and pelvis, showing air density outlining the urinary bladder wall, yellow arrow, and rectal wall thickening, white arrow. This is a coronal non-contrast CT image through the abdomen and pelvis, showing air density outlining the urinary bladder wall, yellow arrow. This is a sagittal non-contrast CT image through the abdomen and pelvis, showing air density outlining the urinary bladder wall, yellow arrow. This is an axon non-contrast CT image through the abdomen and pelvis in lung window, showing air density outlining the urinary bladder wall yellow arrow. The final diagnosis in this case is emphysematous cystitis. Air density in the bladder wall is consistent with emphysematous cystitis, and unless gas density is mistaken for fat density due to windowing error, emphysematous cystitis is the most likely diagnosis. Some top differential diagnosis to consider first is iatrogenic air. Iatrogenic air, if introduced by a Foley catheter, Gas will be in the bladder lumen, not in the urinary bladder wall. It will usually accumulate at the bladder apex, not in a dependent position. Here, air density is uniformly present along the wall of the urinary bladder in a non-dependent distribution. Another differential diagnosis to consider is colovesical fistula. Here, there is no definite connection between the vagina or the colon, and the urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is significantly distended without air in the urinary bladder lumen, making vesicle vaginal or colovesical fistula unlikely. Colovesical fistula are also more common in patients with Crohn's disease. Colovesical fistula is better ruled out with a cystogram or gastrographin enema. Take home message. The most common predisposing factor for emphysematous cystitis is diabetes. The most common presentations include urinary urgency, urinary frequency, hematuria, dysuria, pneumaturia, fever, and abdominal or suprapubic pain. Intramural gas is thought to be from the fermentation of glucose by bacteria due to poor glycolysis control at the tissue level. CT is the most sensitive imaging modality. The most common finding is air density within the wall of the urinary bladder. Treatment depends on culture and sensitivity of the organism in the urine culture. Prompt treatments with broad-spectrum antibiotics, optimal blood glucose control, and adequate urine drainage are crucial.